I would like to present a project that is not free of controversy and provides many different opportunities to uh, to approach. Um, it might be for some of you rather surprising, for some of you might be interesting, and we do hope that some of you will join us in the very exciting process. We actually just started. And it is uh, very connected with um, thematics such as urban heritage, uh, diplomacy, uh, public uh, dialogue, and of course, uh, the major topic is urban greening process. Uh, first of all, um, Krakow is facing an important and historic challenge, how to introduce more trees to the surface of the main square. Considered Europe's largest medieval market square inscribed uh, along with the old town center and Babel Castle and Jewish district on the World Heritage List in 1978. Um, so this is um, World Heritage Sites, heart of the city, uh, major tourist attraction, uh, but also one of the a um, major location for major events, for sport events, cultural events, for different uh, trades, for political and social uh, events. So as you see, there is many contradictory interests around this, this um, important um, part of the town. Between year 2000 and 2007, um, an important work took place to change the surface of the main square and those works, uh, they were accompanied by archaeological excavations. Um, the authorities of the uh, city of Krakow, the mayor of the city, decided that the discovered relics and the buildings of the market square under the surface um, are an excellent opportunity to create an underground um, museum, which is actually one of the most popular museums of, of the city of Krakow, visited by nearly 400,000 uh, visitors every year. So the market square slab is literally suspended above it, which causes additional difficulties for the realization of the current vision tree planting. The stone surface of the market covers both sides of a massive area, and all doubt is treated as a prestigious space, the most landmark space, Instagram uh, popular uh, location. Um, the perception of residents is um, different. It is regarded as unfriendly, um, overcrowded, um, connected with over tourism effects. People say we never go to the market square anymore. This is concrete, huge surface with lack of shadows, the place uh, for tourists only. So, should market square in Krakow have trees? Historians and landscape architects argued two decades ago, and they continue to argue today. And it, it is interesting to see uh, that uh, somehow mm, history comes full circle because mm, there were trees in the market square. They, were, they have always been there um, in variety of compositions, species. They were in 17th and the 18th centuries, they were in 19th century, and then finally they were removed in the, in the interwar period at the beginning of the 20th century to reveal the majesty of the uh, market square. In some of the photos, you can even see that trees coexist with cars. So parking lots, cooling cars in the parts weather, of course, today you will see neither cars nor such trees in the market. And in the local referendum um, this year, this uh, spring, um, on the distribution of pounds, uh, so-called civic budget, 
residents and civil society um, started the campaign and they uh, got 20 votes demanding for planting more trees on the market square. And this is uh, really, first of all, grassroots initiative linked to the activity of city movements, residents movements, and also environmental movements. Uh, but it has received a great, great response. And, and of course, people claim, first of all, climate change as a first um, uh, argument, and of course, also well-being and quality of life in the historic areas. Uh, of course, there is many practical um, uh, arguments, purification of air, lowering of air temperature, livability, biodiversity, but it will, of course, um, change completely the landscape. And uh, as you see, uh, preservation services have spoken out against this idea with reserve and concern. And in the face of this dispute between the will of the residents and the will of the preservationists, although there is no official decision yet on the matter, the city authorities are watching with the knowledge that is necessary to work out a compromise, a workable scale that will reconcile all, um, all the factions. And then we have different challenges, scenic issues. Of course, landscape will change, view access, perception of the space, then functional issues. Currently, the market serves as a place for large events. So planting trees will make it impossible. It will be impossible to organize some big events. But of course, from the other side, uh, it will protect a market square from uh, overuse or abuse of, the, of this uh, space. Then we have technical and land issues. Uh, the current uh, surface of the market due to the location of the underground museum does not allow to plant the trees. This um, makes it necessary to create special underground pots and irrigation system. And then you have dendrological issues uh, because of course, appropriate selection of tree species that are resistant to harsh conditions is necessary. Social issues, because we need to respect the community initiative results of the local referendum, but also we are responsible uh, as public authorities to manage the World Heritage Site with respect. Um, and then, of course, um, political issues, because the final decision at the very end will not belong to the municipal authorities, but to the representative of the central government, uh, Minister of Culture, as the um, um, res um, institution responsible for World Heritage Site. So we have many emotions about this project. The current process could result in an interesting outcomes. First of all, cooling the market square, creating more pleasant space. Of course, strengthening social functions. Residents and visitors, they will just like to stay in green spaces. It will calm down also this overcrowded area. It will protect from noise. It will be a natural barrier but also it will help to foster some biodiversity uh, and of course it will fill in urban interior. So what it will be, what will be, what could be gained by working together with, with you? First of all, um, I think there is many cities they are standing, um, that they have main, uh, they have similar temptations or uh, thoughts uh, or even pressure or trends uh, from, from different axes are similar. We see more and more public demand, but also uh, different institutions, uh, preservationist institutions, they, they are more and more keen to bring back uh, greenery into historic um, spaces, but also, this pilot uh, city project could um, be an interesting um, uh, a laboratory um, 
uh, of conversation between all of the stakeholders, uh, be this dispute between preservationists, landscape architects, civil society, local and central government. So each similar project can benefit from its uh, predecessors know-how, similar arguments and analyses. For example, we were, we were already inspired by the case of Bordeaux, which has already introduced trees close to the World Heritage Site, close to the Gothic Cathedral. And it's a really um, a benchmark for the city of Krakow. So uh, what will be the contribution of the collaborative um, network to be um, integrated into ongoing or future actions? Of course, we would like to get involved all of the partners in all of the key um, moments. Um, first of all, of course, presentation of phases, reporting results. Then we consider study tour for all of the cities in the network to see in situ the, 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 the scale and, and, and how this project is um, proceeded. And then uh, we, uh, we are going to print or to prepare in e uh, version, electronic digital version, uh, sort of manual of the process development um, with all of the obstacles, all of the reports, all of the uh, projects we are taking into account. And then, of course, we we would love to uh, to have all of you engaged uh, to be advisors, to be uh, to provide uh, examples or expertises from your cities um, to compare barriers, obstacles, but also checking all of the risks. And uh, it's important to stress that the project has financial guarantees and might be finished, should be finished uh, by the end of 2024. So we are already in the process. We are already in the first stage. So conversation, public debate, negotiation, negotiations between different stakeholders are on. So this is not blurred idea. This is really concrete project we are going to start and we need to finish, conclude by the end of the uh, uh, next year. So I think this debate could potentially encompass the entire city can become a source of innovation. Uh, it might be a field and platform for, for constructive dialogue. This bottom-up initiative is heritage-driven uh, initiative through values. And of course, um, some of the uh, conservatives, they say this is a blasphemy to put trees, to destroy the landscape. But inhabitants, they speak through heritage language, showing uh, photographs, showing um, uh, paintings from 18th, 17th, 19th century. So I think it's very exciting to be part of this project, to be really, um, to observe um, the process in Krakow in the most landmark um, place of the very first European city of UNESCO World Heritage List which is a strong symbol as well for all of us. And of course, um, I'm aware about all of the controversies and uh, difficulties, but it, it is what makes this project interesting. Um, so to conclude my speech, um, I think such initiatives can meet um, many historic cities in the nearest future. And Krakow uh, might be an interesting laboratory um, for, um, for all of you. So I could cordially invite partners, um, cities, uh, mayors, uh, to first of all, to contact us, whether there is uh, some interest to joining forces, or you have already some examples um, from your cities you could share with us. And yes, if you have any questions now, I will be happy to uh, answer. Thank you so much for your um, attention. Thank you.